Aha. Oh, the sharks! No! I got you. This map is good. I'm I'm actually enjoying this map, unironically. There's some big news in the world of LEGO Fortnite that I haven't really heard many people talking about. The official development team of LEGO Fortnite has gone out on a limb and made two creative maps completely independent of that game mode. And today I'm gonna try them both out and see if they're good enough for you to give a shot yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sourheart and I'm currently charting the course of the Fortnite metaverse. So if you wanna see all the interesting and new places that Fortnite is going, be sure to subscribe and comment down below what your favorite game mode in Fortnite is right now. I didn't expect them to make other side projects involving the LEGO system or in the creative mode, but I guess technically it's all part of one big UI, isn't it? So Fortnite, as we're seeing, really considers itself a metaverse. Or at this point, the Epic Games team focuses on the Battle Royale portion, right? They don't really consider it the main point of the game anymore. Especially when you look at the combined numbers of the maps we play today. Like between these three maps, that's 150,000 people, you know? First, we're gonna start with the Obby map. And it seems this is just like a Sky Island parkour map. We can toggle the music and from what I understand, any of the jam tracks you buy in the shop can actually play on this map. But in my opinion, the tracks are a little bit expensive. It's a very select few who are buying them. If they could get those music tracks down to like 300, then I think they would see a lot more buys. Okay, so honestly not that complex. We'll see how difficult, oh my God. It's not that complex until the game lags. It says friends one. Actually, I think the purpose of this is to play it with your friends. Then you could actually be muscling people off of the blocks. Otherwise, it's pretty simplistic. The Lego jumping physics are so different to battle royale physics. I'm so clean with it when I'm a normal Fortnite character. Nice, but we made it to the city. Kind of cool. There's like a little bit of a theme here. Like, you see that? You see that little bit of stutter? That's always the killer on parkour maps. Parkour maps, they have to be so smooth. I'm gonna take it one at a time. No! No! It was just a little too high. I'll be hot. Oh my god. It's the lag. Straight up, it's the lag. This map has, like, some hard stutter on it. I will try to play through it to get to 100. I am super focused. Zero deaths. Zero deaths, baby. There we go. I don't care what the kill count says. Zero deaths on that. Oh, wow. This is uh, a little bit easier. You just need to wait on some of these platforms. These ones aren't difficult. It's just because they're going up and down. You're going to miss them. Uh, and that's why you can't rush either, because they spawn above your piece. They didn't even put a checkpoint there. <gasps> no! They didn't even put a checkpoint there, no! Oh, that hurts! How are they gonna have checkpoints every 20 and then suddenly... Suddenly they just take them away. This is peak Fortnite, baby. This is what it's all about. Jumping from sushi to watermelon. <sighs> 94. That's so odd that this was a checkpoint. What? They did this because they want you to complete the whole map. We're gonna keep going just because the aesthetic seems to be getting uh, pretty heavenly. I wanna see how far they take it. Unfortunately, this is about when this creative map started padding out the runtime by repeating gimmicks. Do you think Lego mode is permanent? 100%, dude, 100%. It's got its own development team. The thing you gotta consider about all these game modes, like these special game modes, it's another development team. So I promise you, Lego Fortnite is here to stay. It's only getting more complex, getting better every day. Oh my God, they're just repeating the aesthetics on me now. It's just the unicorns and the balloons again. Just different positions. Oh my God, whew. Yeah, they're just gonna repeat the numbers again. No, I was looking to complete this map, but now at this point, it's starting to repeat gimmicks. So I think we've seen everything we need to see of this map. It's gonna get to the point where the games that people make surpass the games that Epic Games produces, like the Battle Royale. There will come a day when a game mode comes out and it has more players than Battle Royale. Okay, so we're on wave one and we're on a raft. No, get up here. How do I help you? Oh, I can help you. I can pull you out. Okay. Good. Good. We're getting hit from someone on a pirate ship. What? I guess it builds on... Oh, no. I have to get coins to pay for it. Okay. Or maybe it's just one at a time. I think for every platform that gets destroyed, we can rebuild that platform. We just have to reclaim the wood. So we're pretty much just making sure we don't fall through. Oh, God. Brosef. I fell. No. <laughs> No, you gotta get me. 
I just walked off. I don't think this guy knows. God, he just hopped in. What is he doing? <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Right off the bat, I can say that I'm enjoying this mode a bit more than the simple parkour mode that they put together. And you should definitely place, yeah, you should definitely place it away from the cannons, further back from the cannons. I fell in, no! His first thing hit me. Oh my god. Oh god, it's so hard to grade. But he's firing them wide, I think. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help me! Ah! Oh, what is this? They really aren't. Can we use these ores? No! I guess they're just in the way. It literally made me fall off, dude. Come on. So not only do we have to contend with this cannon, now there's obstacles on our platforms. Jesus, everything works against us, and his cannon just gets better. Yeah, we gotta build weird where it's hard for him to hit us. If we actually build at angles like this and just jump between, it's like it's better for us. <laughs> that person is just straight up not helping. That cat dude, he just leaves people in the water, right? I wonder why I'm even helping him. You know why? Because I'm a good person. Oh, God. Yeah, watch out for those platforms with the stuff on them. That stuff can just straight up ruin your jump. Oh, my God. Catacorner is working, dude. Building Catacorner is really working. Aha. Oh, the sharks. No, I got you. This map is good. I'm I'm actually enjoying this map, unironically. Oh god, dude, perfectly timed jump. I'm honestly, uh, I gotta give my respect. I'm like clutching up right now. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the plays. I'm unironically making clutch plays right now. We'll get you. Get over here. No, don't run away. No. <laughs> oh my god. How is it possible to look like a badass on this silly map? I just did. Dude, oh my god. Oh wait, we can reach it. Yeah, we gotta go forward. We gotta get to these other pieces of wood. What? Oh my god. No. Oh. Yeah, we're like losing ground. No! Dude, we lost ground. That's crazy. You you really gotta think. There's a lot to, there's skill in this game mode. This is way better than the other parkour map. This is way better than the other simple ass parkour map. This one has depth, replayability. I could see this one like actually gaining a following. Oh, so no one is the cannonball guy. It's just, it's automatic. Wow, so they actually programmed an AI for this map. That's really cool. Comparing the two maps we played today, I think LEGO Raft Survival is by far the better of the two. When it comes to LEGO Obby, it got a little bit boring pretty fast. There wasn't really any sound design on the map. And about halfway through, they started repeating the gimmicks, which to me is kind of a big no-no in platformers. I suppose it was more to show off the fact that they had LEGO pieces in creative mode. So it has a little novelty for that. But when compared to LEGO Raft Survival, which had great sound design, great programming, and an actual game that had replay value, it really did not hold up. I'm watching with a lot of interest to see what comes out of LEGO Fortnite in the future, because I think this game mode has the potential to become the game mode. But that all remains to be seen. Comment down below which of these maps you enjoyed the most, and I'll catch you all in the next video.